We're back. This is the city of South Daytona. The city of South Daytona has now made it their business to find out who is in what house and why. And their police chief, Mark Cheatham, unlawfully took photos of inside of the home and behind a fence on the property. Now I've taken this photo, the only place that code enforcement is legally and lawfully allowed to take photos of your home and use those against you. Now these are the photos that Chief Mark Cheatham took while he was on property. I've blurred them out for the protection of the owner. This one depicts the inside of the home. The chief took another photo through a window. Again, this one blurred for protecting the privacy of inside of the home. I reached out to the city, including the police chief, for a comment. I have received no response. The chief then went to the backyard and what appears to be putting his phone over the fence and taking another photo in the backyard. A woman has her dog seized, an animal control officer is laid off, and now the city is moving to condemn the home. Welcome to Dirty South Daytona. Our homes and the property are protected by Fourth Amendment unreasonable searches and seizures. In this case, had to do exactly with that. Police officers searching the curtilage of a home for an alleged stolen vehicle. Let's take a listen to some of the interview. Said so each time they came, they found all those allegations were not substantiated or whatever you want to say they found no reason at all to take my dogs but they kept coming out and coming out and um, finally this last time I was basically forced into signing three of my dogs over just to get the pressure off me they just would not leave me alone they kept saying that I was going to be arrested and charged with crimes and I said what crimes have I committed um, and and I was being told by members of the police department and animal control that my dogs checked out fine there was no reason to take my dogs and I was told by numerous sources that everything they did at my house was not legal do you remember who told you that um, lieutenant Pedri this woman was being told by agents of city of South Daytona that what they were doing wasn't legal but they persisted and still did it. And the persistence was so strong that I have never seen a call in my entire police career where a captain, a lieutenant, and the chief respond to a dog call. Officer Rick Hupp wrote in his report that he could find nothing wrong with the dogs. However, after this call, the city gave him paperwork to lay him off of his job. Tell me what you think in the comments. Why was he laid off? Yeah, so this is, she said that you wanted information about 612 Big Tree. Yeah, the reason why I was shut off. This was the work order. Okay. So I was the one that created this work order yes. because I was informed that the property owner was in hospice care and there were potential squatters. Yeah, she's lived there for four years. Okay, I was unaware of anyone actually like permanently residing there. No, it would have to be like you're allowing her to reside at this property. You want her to establish water services effective whatever date. For my own daughter. Mm -hmm. If she wants to have her own account, yes. Yeah, but not if I, if I have the account in my name and I pay it. I have to do that? I have to... No, if the account's in your name, that's fine. Yeah, I want to... But I got word that the Miss Ganey told us that the owner of the property was in hospice care. What does hospice mean? He's not at the property. He's not physically at the property. So if you're in the hospital, you'll shut water off too? No, that's not That's not the case here. The case is, is that I knew that he was not at the property. Yeah. I got word that there was potential squatters. Okay which is what prompted us to, in an effort to protect the homeowner, I got you. turn off water service until we were able to make contact with Do you the know homeowner. who pays the water bill or who paid it? I don't know. The district, I guess the account type? That's the mailing address. Yes, and then what does that say right there? What Care is- Care of Deborah Ganey. Who's that? I, I don't know. Did you say, didn't you say Deborah Ganey come in here and talk to you? She, yes, she did. All right. Uh, if I'm gonna have someone basically say care of, that person is responsible and can take care of things, right? No, not in our system. Oh, okay. This is just for mailing purposes. Yeah, 612 Big Tree. Uh, they said that now there's squatters in the home and things like that. That's what the water department was telling me that was provided so that they could shut off water. Yeah, so the lease was not provided to the city. Yeah. The It was brought to our attention that the owner of that unit is in hospice. What's hospice mean to you? In care that he is not able to well, care for himself. Uh, Brought to our attention the occupants of the home. Yeah. Uh, the owner does not live there. Yeah. So per our ordinance, a lease is required. So my, I was asking my daughter, uh, we have a house here in South Daytona okay. and my daughter lives in that house and I pay the bills, I pay all the bills for it. Am I required to have her do a lease because she's my daughter and lives in my house? In this particular case here, not to your daughter's case, but this particular address here at 612 Big Tree, yeah. the occupants of the home advised that the owner does not live there, and they advised that they would pro will produce a lease to our water department. They will? 
Correct. They okay. that was indicated that they would pro provide a lease. Yeah. And the owner is required to obtain a rental license for their daughter living there when they don't rent and just let them live there, just like my daughter lives in my home. Correct. He is required to have a rental license. Okay. Registered through the city. Yep. He is required to pass a rental inspection. Oh, I see how you guys every do Every year. And then they are also supplied a lease, which would then authorize them to turn on water. For, for someone's family member to live in the house that doesn't pay rent, that stays there, you have that? Well, we don't know if they pay rent or not. It's none it, of your business, but Correct, they it yeah. is none of our business, but at this point, the owner does not live in that home. Uh -huh. And it was advised to us that they do not live there and they pay rent. Yep. And it was also advised that they would pro will produce the city with a lease. She says she pays rent? Correct. You sure about that? Yes, sir. Okay, are you sure? I got an audio or video like this okay. is? Sir, I'm just, I'm, I'm just explaining to you what the ordinance is of the city. Okay. Uh, we do have to have a lease. Yes. The owner has to have a business license and pass a rental inspection per our city code. For a family member to live in their own home? If the owner is not occupying the home. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So one of the other questions I did have for this yeah. one here is, um, they, I guess they condemned it. Do you know who condemned the house? It's not condemned. We posted it unfit due to um, the building discrepancies that were noticed when the code compliance first went out there. So, Did you guys use utilize any of the police department photos of like the inside of the home? No. No. We used the, the, the ones that you can gain from where public can go. There's a complete, the roof is collapsing right at the entry of the home. You mean the soffit's collapsing? No, the roof is collapsing. You That's saw that from the, the right of way? From, from where the public can go, we can go to the front door and knock and ask for access. They denied access. They okay. now put up a yeah. trespassing sign. So yeah. Do you know the why they put up trespassing step, signs? Step in the process, Do you know why they put up trespassing signs? No. Is because the chief was putting his phone up to the window and taking photos inside the home and in okay, back. Well, I can't speak to that. No, it's, it's fact. It's a, it's a report. Okay, well, um, again, so the other thing that, don't interrupt me. I was, okay. So what I was also going to say is that um, he put it behind the fence and took photos behind the fence as well, well in that cartilage. You know, Fourth Amendment protects the cartilage. All right, so the next step you were saying was? Yeah, so, so th since they posted it and they, they d denied us access, the next step for us is we posted it unfit because we, we can't go in and do an evaluation. So, um, she has to get an engineer. She has to get an engineer to assess it and, and, and provide that report to us. Okay. Um, I am not sure if Deborah's paying rent or not based off the conversations that I had, well, I have had with the occupants of that home. The occupants, her, right? Or is there some, or the occupants are someone else? The occupants that were there. And again, I didn't ID anybody. It's not okay. my job to do that. Yeah. The day I was there, they advised that they were going to obtain a lease. Okay. Um, it was conveyed that um, if they wanted to stay in that unit with water on, they would need a lease. Okay. And the owner of the home would need a business license. All right. And they said they, uh, I believe they had told us that they were going to provide that by Thursday or Friday at the end of April. And you don't know who told you that? There was one occupant there. There was actually three or four when I was there, so I'm not quite sure. So it may not be Deborah or Billy? Um, I did speak with uh, Deborah Ganey. Yeah. Because I, I do know who she is. Okay. But her daughter or her granddaughter was the ones that said they were real estate agents and they would provide the, okay. the lease template. So that, so that, yeah, so they didn't, Nancy, or I'm sorry, Deborah didn't date, but a third party that's not, that's not listed here. Okay. Again, we're not going to get into. No, I'm just saying these are the parties yeah. here, Billy, Nancy, and Deborah. Those are the, those are the parties that. Then the owner, Billy and Nancy, they need to provide a lease to the, to the occupants that are in that home. Even if they don't pay rent. Again, Billy and Nancy do not live there. Okay. Correct. There was a third party, not yeah, Deborah. There was uh, about three or four people there that day. Okay. But not Deborah. I, I, uh, no, not Deborah. Okay. No. All right. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Take care. The officer on scene rounded up statements from the neighbors next door on either side. It was one of the most piss poor documented body cameras I've ever seen. He turns it on and off and including when Rick Hupp tells him to come over, he turns his body camera totally off. I was told later that they had leashed up my dogs to take them. Someone from Volusia County or someone pulled up and said, you know what you're doing is not legal and you need to get off of her property. You're violating her rights. 
and you're going to get everyone into trouble. Everyone needs to vacate the premises now. And that's when Lieutenant Pedri said they got an order from South Daytona to put the dogs back into the yard and leave immediately. Okay. And he said they left in a hurry. There is a form that you signed that says voluntary release of the dogs. It was like a re voluntary release. Right. But it wasn't really voluntary. I did it because I was forced into it. And I even told them right there when I before I signed it that... I'm going to tell you right now before I sign this, I'm not doing this voluntarily. I'm doing it because I'm being forced and bullied into it. Do you know what he said to you in, in response to that? They didn't say anything. There is absolutely no body camera footage available when this form was signed. Animal Control Officer Hupp, Captain Pignatero, Lieutenant Pedri, and Chief Mark Cheatham are not required to wear body cameras. At some point during this incident, when this officer turned the body camera on and off, they put the dogs back in the back of the home and left. This woman was a lifelong resident of the city and now she's afraid to stay at her own home. Let me let you listen to what she used to do for the citizens and the kids of South Daytona. Years and years as volunteers coaching baseball, softball, um, when they um, they did not have a t-ball field for the little t-ball players and so my husband and myself did, did designed a program to raise money to build a t-ball field and even to light the t-ball field and even back in the day we had t-shirts printed up um you know to raise money to light the t is to light the t-ball field in south daytona we raised the money we we ordered the sod me and my husband went out there and laid every stitch of sod on that t-ball field um the, the people came and put the lighting up when we raised the money i mean we've been very loyal to south daytona over the years and it's just been recent that they've just kind of turned they offered no help to you even though you've helped the city out in the none past. i mean none mm -hmm. i've I, none 